Hello, I'm Maria Green, and we're gonna make a fabric cuff out of uh, mixed media fabric. This is uh, one I have made already, and I used all hand painted uh, fabric that I just would take mostly uh, cotton fabric because it's the best uh, medium to soak up the paint and it also it's easy to work with so I'm using um, calicos and uh, regular uh, pretty thick cotton as you can see I have sprayed with uh, probably dilution spray paints I used acrylic paints that I rub into the fabric and just squish it around and here is some uh, double sided fusible webbing, I guess, a fusible web, that's what it's called. We are measuring and a normal wrist is usually around seven and a half inches. So I actually cut out eight inches to make room for the button and have some fabric underneath closure. So here I picked the paint, painted piece of fabric, it's cotton, and um, I'm measuring eight inches, mark it, and then cut it. You can make it as wide as you like. Mine is about an inch and a half. So actually what you're going to need is an uh, ironing board and an iron and sewing machine. It's super basic for sewing. So, um, but I can't show you the machine since I am set up in my studio. Um, I have my sewing machine in a different room. And here I'm using the double-sided fusible web. And it's a stabilizer that holds everything together and makes it sturdy. As you can see it's it's uh would say medium weight webbing. <laughs> there are heavy duty and there are some fine webbing too, but medium is best for this kind of work. <coughs> Excuse me. And here I'm using just some uh fabric as a lining at the back because it's softer against the skin. And I like the pattern. I'm cutting it the exact same size. So I have three pieces here, and I'm going to actually choose which side I want up. And then I put the webbing on the other side and the lining on the back. And then I go and I iron that with a hot iron. You can only really use a hot iron if it's cotton. Otherwise, the like silk and other nylon type fabrics will melt. Here I wanted to do like another layer. So I'm trying to choose a fabric that I like that goes with the rest of the fabric. I found something. It's a pretty thick cotton that was actually white and blue until I painted it. I have a qu quite a big stash of painted fabric that I've used for collages and um, I like to, if I have a lot of leftover paint sometimes I I just put it on some fabric and squish it together and I have a stash and there I have fused it again with my iron and now I'm gonna print some uh, lettering with my Stason ink pad and my stamps. I am printing green and create in blue. Stats on is good because it will not fade or bleed. Cut 
that out. And I've got my affirmations. And then now I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to arrange that for look the best. And I'm cutting two tiny pieces of the web to fuse those to the rest of the fabric. The feet's using um, pins, even though I will sew everything on there securely. And uh, here I'm trying to figure out what other embellishments. I got some rickrack. I have. All kinds of buttons. I got some lace. And, uh, sometimes I don't have what I need, but you do the best you can with what you have. That color goes well, so I'm putting on a. It's a large size rick rack. It's gonna be sewed on there. And looking to see if I have some lace. There I sewed everything on. If you look, <coughs> I used a zigzag stitch around the bigger pieces and a straight stitch on the rick rack and around the words. So I carefully stitch it on there. I don't mind if it frays a little bit to make it a little um, vintage look. And here I have a lace that's way too big, but. Um, the nylon and it can be uh, cut because the type of fabric does not uh, fray. So I'm going to put one edge on one side and one on the other. And here I have the button which is the same as the sample cup. And I picked out some other buttons that I'm going to use as embellishment. I have a pretty good stash of used buttons. I tend to cut the buttons off of uh, clothing before I throw them out, um, unless I don't like them. But I like most of the buttons that I have. And this is uh, just a ribbon I'm using for the closure. And I measured it was about one inch, so and I have two inches and a half, maybe three, have enough to sew it down. And I'm going to put it at one edge. And I'm um, sewing it on there, but I'm covering it with a strip of lace. I'm trying to figure out which end of that cup I want to put the closure. Here you can see I put it on very sternly. I sew back and forth several times over the loop to make sure it's on there for all eternity. And here I've sewed on the lace. I use a straight stitch. And here I'm actually using pins. To hold down the loop, I'm showing you how to. I just put the pins straight down, and that way you can sew over them. And I adjust it for so that there's some resistance against the button when you put it on. I'm just trying to figure out what it will look like. Here's my strip of lace. It's going to go over it. I use a straight stitch when I sew that down. And here again I'm trying to figure out the best placement for the buttons. I like to sew down the edges of that lace so it doesn't stick out at the end.
in here I have sewn now the loop down and I am sewing the big button on I'm using a match that uh, I put under the button to make make a little button shank to make it easier to put the loop around it so it's not so tight so I actually sew the match and it makes the distance between the button and the fabric I took it out and I am pulling it through and as you can see I'm twirling the thread around the button creating a raised button sewing it tight in the back and uh, try it out a little bit and the only thing left to do is actually to put the rest of the buttons on again with some hand sewing and there they are I used the purple thread for all of them now I'm going to model it I thank you for looking at this video it's a lot of fun to actually make these out of many pieces of fabric here's another one that I used the velcro because the button were so huge that the loop did not really work well 